My second tutorial for Fast MC, and it's going to cover a complete flight from uh, Munich International Airport to Amsterdam International. Uh, I trust that you have watched my other video on how to prepare the MCDU, that's why I've directly jumped to the runway with my MCDU prepared, ready for takeoff. The first thing you want to do is make sure the flight director is on. After that, you want to make sure that constraints, terrain, and airport is on. What you also need to make sure is that on your navigation display, the green lines are not dashed but it's a thick, long green line. This has to be accomplished by making sure that nav mode is selected. This is done by pushing on this, this knob right there. Right now, we're gonna do a takeoff. In the, in the simulator, I've, I've already set my flaps, my auto brakes, and my speed brakes. I'm ready for takeoff. I'm gonna move my thrust all the way up to max. On my ECAM, I want to check if the engines start up uh, at the same time. If they start up correct, it's good. Switch over to nav mode. Now my aircraft is rolling down the runway. And I'm going to keep my hands on the thrust levers in case I want to reject the takeoff. 18 knots. SRS and nav are set on the, F on the uh, flight mode enunciator. I rotate, I slowly bring my aircraft nose up, 15 degrees, Positive rate. gear up, gear up. so I, I, up. I just retracted my flaps and I'm going up to 15 degrees. I'm now going to put my thrust a little back to add two clicks when it's on climb thrust, climb thrust and it's going to say thrust climb. Now I'm going to bring my nose back down to 10, so I don't stall. And I can see on my nav display that I need to turn. So I'm going to do that right now. And at this moment I'm still flying manual. Except for the auto thrust, the auto thrust is on. I want to check my mode enunciator that it's on optimal climb and nav, which is correct. And I'm just going to follow the green line on the... Um, nav display. So now I'm, uh, I'm going to go back to level. I'm going to let go of my joystick and turn on the autopilot by hitting the AP1 button. Autopilot engages. As you can see it starts to follow the green lines. And I can already see when I'm going to reach 18,000 feet. Now you see this big blinking thing right here. That means that I've reached my transition altitude and I want to set my barrel pressure back to standard. How do I do that? I simply right click on this button right there. It's a standard stop blinking. And so uh, all I really had to do was turn on the uh, autopilot one button and because I've prepared my MCU pre uh, correctly, it will actually now start control uh, doing everything it needs to do. Now what's important that you do at this moment in time after turning on the autopilot is checking the flight mode enunciator. You want to check that it's on throttle climb, which means that your thrust is set to climb thrust. You want to make sure that optimal climb is set, uh, or it's actually called open climb, sorry. And you, make, 10, feet. and you want to make sure that nav is on, meaning that it's going to follow the flight plan. So now it's doing everything, the autopilot gets to do everything, and now I can just rest and uh, Sure. 